Good evening and thank you for joining us. Well, hundreds of vehicles travel along Highway 17 every day, many of which transport heavy loads from one destination to another. But could all that weight impact the surrounding land? Kelsey Bloxham explains. Darlene Chokin travels along this road almost every day. And for the past year, she's been keeping a close eye on the ground movement below the highway. I first noticed them last summer. And uh, I noticed the uh, on one side only, on the east side of Highway 17. And the, the cracks were, I'd say, about uh, two feet wide. As she continues to watch the cracks get bigger and bigger, what is even more concerning for Darlene, the exact same sinkage on the other side of the highway. Maybe about a foot and, uh, and by this summer, about maybe a month and a half ago, I noticed that it was getting wider so I decided to take pictures of it because I was quite concerned about, uh, about the sizes of those cracks. And uh, so I went and took pictures. I was actually very surprised at the, to see how much land had actually dropped. Newcap News contacted the Saskatchewan Ministry for Highways and Infrastructure. Since then, a team has come out to this area to assess what exactly is happening here. What's happening is there is some significant movement on both sides of the highway, uh, but it's about 500 metres or half a kilometre away from the uh, highway right away itself. Our sense is at this particular point in time, it's, it's uh, not a risk to the highway. However, Darlene disagrees, saying she's felt the vibrations caused by the trucks driving along the highway, but is happy the ministry is taking her concerns seriously. By the way I see the cracks, they all go, they're all facing the top and towards the highway. That's what concerns me. The geology of that area is there, there's a lot of, um, uh, once you get below the ground level, there's quite a bit of silty material that if you get um, high levels of moisture, it apparently can erode uh, quite quickly and we can see some significant movement like that. We are um, sending a geotechnical engineer out to the area to take a look at it. That assessment is expected to happen sometime this week. Until then, Darlene will continue to watch and wait. Kelsey Bloxham, Newcap News.